portfolio is still one of the favorites for an employer to uh, hire, you know, and then look at somebody that's coming in and well-versed and prepared for the, you know, interview day. Um, just because it's a job fair doesn't mean that the employer can't uh, look at you like a regular candidate. They actually hire sometimes within uh, right at a job fair. So a portfolio consists of resumes, cover letter, references, um, awards, and certificates. So that's something that you should bring plenty of and bring copies, not just a regular um, one and here you go and that's your last copy. Um, I would bring in extra copies, like at least 10 to 15 of your resume at least. Um, that shows them that you're prepared to meet a, you know, a, a lot of employers in the moment and um, you're ready to share their mission, the vision, and um, the interest in why you're going to that table. Um, and also, you know, the, the other thing is you can include certificates and awards. Um, those are things that if they are related, that helps you become that better candidate. Um, if they're not, it just shows that you have accomplishments, which is really good as well. Um, you can place your resume, cover letter, and references, and also the certificates and awards in a plastic sleeve individualized. So that way, when you're at the table, you can take one of each out. What I do is I place my resume, cover letter, and my references in one sleeve and make three or four different packets or up to 10 or 15, just depending on how many employers you're gonna see for that job fair. Before the um, job fair, you wanna go ahead and research the company. The re researching the company is very important. Um, you wanna look up in a tab maybe that would say about us. Um, and that just, you click on there and it's mission and vision that you're looking for. And you see which way the company is going um, and they're directed and just knowing about them and sharing that information at a job fair gives you that special touch for a candidate to be hired. Um, they will, the employer will look at you in a different light. Also, anything that you see on social media or any media outlet, um, you want to look up about them and share. Maybe it's a fundraiser that they had. Maybe it's a, um, an event uh, for any, any cause and that might be something that of interest of them and it's relevant and recent. That might tell them that you have invested and you are interested in their company. So there's two sides to the job fair. There's one side, which is the employer. The employer's looking and scanning the room. They're gonna look around and say, oh, these candidates are great. Um, they're professional, they look the part, they are becoming the part by attaining their education at STCC. Um, another thing would be that they are gonna be you know, interviewing you in a sense and, and, and asking you about yourself. So that's that 60 second commercial. And that is you introducing yourself, making sure that you tell them what your interests are, what they're about, and definitely that you want to be a, become a part of their team. You want to make sure that you save your top company for last. That way you can practice uh, your 60 second commercial and you can introduce yourself, you can go ahead and talk about your mission and vision of the company, you can show your, share your interest with the company uh, or with the employer. One last tip is just to make sure that you network. Networking is so important to meet employers and to meet other people within the company that work there, not just the employer or the hiring manager. Just make sure that you um, go ahead and and talk to people and have fun, embrace it, um, learn about the company because there will be more job fairs, there will be um, interviews coming in the near future for you as you graduate from STCC. Have fun and good luck.